Hello everyone, so today I am joined by Shivam and uh, Purni. Um, so Shivam today will help us go through a day in the life of a mining engineer from India. So Shivam, why don't you first introduce yourself, take us through about your education background, where you work and what you do in your role. Okay, good evening everyone. Uh, uh, it's uh, morning here though. Thank you for very much for such a warm welcome. So the, to joint entrance examination, I got into Indian School of Mines at uh, Indian Institute of Technology at Dhanbad in 2015. I graduated in 2019 in Bachelor of Technology in Mineral Engineering. I joined in the Sun Singh, uh, as a, it is a subsidiary of Vedanta Group, a couple of months after the graduating. So HRL is uh, India's one of the largest producer of zinc, lead and silver. Uh, and uh, uh, world's one of the largest producer of zinc, zinc, lead and silver and India's only producer of zinc, lead and silver. So uh, currently I'm working as a business analyst for lead metal, but uh, for past one year I had worked as a mineral processing engineer in beneficiation plant. Awesome, cool. So my, from mining engineering to mineral processing. So can you yeah. take us through a day in the life of what you do at work? So for example, like you come into work, what's the first thing you do um, all the way to the end of the day? Okay, so my day-to-day -day job uh, was to uh, quality optimization, process maintenance, uh, production maintaining, maintenance, uh, engineering and operation. Uh, uh, along with that, uh, safety is important culture of operation. So uh, for that, we uh, have to maintain uh, certain protocols and standards while uh, doing operation. So for that, uh, and in your day-to-day -day life as a job, as a process engineer, you have a team of people who work along with you from mechanical to instrumentation in electrical engineers. And, uh, uh, and along with that, we also have a safety uh, culture to maintain. So there is a whole team of engineers, operators, supervisors, and workers uh, who maintain the operation. Uh, first, uh, when I get into the job uh, uh, on the day, uh, in the morning, then uh, first my, my first thing I do is get to know who are all the people on duty and uh, if there is any carry forward maintenance from yesterday or uh, and then I visit the plant and see what are the critical equipment and how they do their health checkup. And then uh, fr from there, uh, we uh, do maintenance job, then analyze data, ma maintain the quality of the uh, uh, whole process uh, and this uh, rotation circuit. And uh, the, that's all my day-to-day -day job is. Awesome, cool. So in terms of your, um, the software that you use for data set and optimization, what sort of software do you use? Uh, actually, there is a uh, big control room through which the whole plant is maintained. Uh, it has four or five computers uh, in it. And from there, uh, it has uh, 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 process optimization software and data monitoring software, which are, are already installed in it. And uh, I think the software we use are generally like uh, from Honeywell or ABB from these companies. Gotcha. So there are like the pre-installed uh, optimize like uh, sorry automation software right yeah yeah okay gotcha okay um so what what's the favorite part about your job like what do you what excites you the most uh in my day-to-day -day job uh, the uh, my favorite part is quality optimization because almost every factor in the plant uh, affects the quality of the concentrate that we produce so uh, my uh, the favorite part uh, that excites me is to find out what it really is affecting, go to go deep into it and solve the problem that really excites me in the day to day life. Awesome, yeah, problem solving. That's definitely something that we all engineers like to do. Um, and then last question is, what advice do you have for aspiring mining engineers, whether they want to go into mineral processing or mining engineering? Uh, what advice do you have for those people? Uh, my advice is be optimistic about the industry. In this, this industry has a lot to offer. People haven't really seen uh, the potential it has. 
uh, to our engineers' mind. And I think we have barely scratched the surface what it has to offer. Uh, through digital uh, and this industry is going through transformation of uh, digitalization and innovation. Uh, and I think uh, it, be, it is really great opportunity for bright young minds graduating to offer new ideas and suggestions for improvement. So I'll say just be optimistic and uh, give your best. Well said, well said. Well, Shivam, I want to thank you again very much for doing this interview. Um, an interview with an Indian mining engineer is one of the most highly re requested topics. So I'm sure this video will provide a lot of value to many people. So thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Juan.